so much for speaking to us today. It's, a, it's an honor for us and a great opportunity. Uh, I'm speaking to Tariq Dali, if that is pronounced correctly. I'm sorry if it's not. Oh, no problem. It's Tarek Daly, like Eric with a T, and something you do every day. Great. <laughs> Tarek, my name is Ioana. I'm editor-in-chief of Descopera.ro. It's the biggest science website in Romania. And today we are going to talk about DART. Um, so tell me, how important is DART for NASA at this point? DART is going to be the first test ever of technology that one day could be used to protect or defend the Earth against an incoming asteroid. It's a NASA first, it's a first for the world actually, and it's a test that gives me hope because if it goes successfully, we will have demonstrated that Earth has what it takes to potentially prevent an asteroid impact if one day we found one coming our way. Great, having said that, how um, important would it be and um, what would it take for humanity to be entirely capable of planetary defense? And do you think that's possible? Well, the first thing you have to know in order to be able to prevent an asteroid impact is where the asteroids are. We know where all the asteroids are that are large enough to be like dinosaur killers. But we actually don't know where most of the asteroids are that are large enough to cause regional devastation. So it's really important to do two things. We need to have technology like DART to prevent an impact but we also need to work on finding these asteroids so that we understand what the hazard really is. Right. Um, so what is the likelihood of an asteroid being big enough that it would pose an, a danger for humanity and that we would need to use this type of technology in order to um, avert a natural disaster, a huge natural disaster? But well, small asteroids think the size of, you know, shoeboxes. Those kinds of small asteroids are hitting the Earth, you know, every few days, and they're small enough they burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere. And large asteroids like Mount Everest-sized, uh, we know where those are and they're not a threat. The asteroids we worried about are those between, say, about 50 and 140 meters across, because those are large enough to cause uh, a problem over, say, a metropolitan area, for example. Um, and that's actually the size of asteroid that DART is, is testing. We're looking at an asteroid that's 160 meters across. So it is, in fact, the size of an asteroid that we're worried about and that we would like to be able to prevent if one day we found one that we're hitting the Earth. Right now, we don't know of any asteroids that pose a hazard to the Earth. But as I said earlier, we don't know where most of them are that are large enough to cause concern. Right. So why was this asteroid system chosen for this mission? The Didymo system is perfect for this test, and that's really for two reasons. First, it's actually a binary asteroid system. So the asteroid we're going to hit, called Dimorphos, is orbiting around a larger asteroid called Didymos about every 12 hours. So we can slam into that smaller asteroid Dimorphos to test this technology and not change the orbit of the larger asteroid Didymos around the sun. And that makes this a safe test that doesn't change anything about how the asteroids relate to the Earth. The other thing that makes the system ideal is that it's close enough to Earth, but not going to hit the Earth, that telescopes on the ground can measure how the orbit of the moon Dimorphos changes. There's no other known binary asteroid system coming close enough for this kind of test for decades. So now is the perfect moment. We have the right asteroid system, we have the right asteroid, we have the right technology, and tonight we're going to put those two together in a first for the world. Right. So um, can you tell me one thing that everyone should know about DART, regardless if you're uh, passionate about astronomy, regardless if you're a scientist or you've just, you know, you're a reader and you want to know more about this mission? Absolutely. Well, anybody can go to nasa.gov slash DART for all the details. Um, but this mission really is what I like to call applied planetary science. We're not doing this because we're curious about the unknown mysteries of the solar system. We're doing this because we want to prove a technology that could affect the fate of the Earth. And so I love that this mission really is about proving technology in an applied way, as opposed to just trying to understand how the solar system works or how it formed. It's a really not new kind of mission uh, for NASA planetary science, and it'll be interesting to see how these types of demonstrations move on after DART in the future. Right. 
Um, and one last question. I know that the DART spaceship has a little camera on it, the Draco camera, if I'm not mistaken. Can you tell us mm -hmm. when we'll be able to see the images from the impact? Absolutely. The images from the Draco camera are actually being streamed back to Earth once a second. It's almost like a video feed. And NASA is actually broadcasting those images live to the world um, this evening between 6 and 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Viewers are invited to tune in, to watch the images, and see what happens. You can watch that stream at nasa.gov slash live. And everyone in the world is invited to see the asteroid for the very first time just as quickly as the mission operators are seeing the data. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you again for speaking to us today. I know we're reaching the end of our transmission. Good luck, and we're all going to be watching you, and we cannot wait to see what happens. Thank you. It's very exciting.